Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Justin. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing my very first monthly electricity bill after installing this 10 kilowatt solar system on my building over here and let you know what my monthly payment was and my true monthly savings. So I'm gonna go jump on a computer, pull up the Enphase Enlighten software, which tells us how much energy production that we're currently producing. And I can do that in a period of time and then we'll compare that to the statement and we'll discuss what our software is showing us and what the utility bill actually showed that we produced. I've moved over to the computer and what we're looking at right now is the Enphase Enlightened software. For everyone that's not familiar with this, this is the software that you'll be looking at if you've got an in-phase system. Let me address why we have everything here blurred out. That's because we want to stay focused strictly on the production and the time period that we produce that. And we know that this was what we produced for this time period. This is the only numbers right now today that we're going to discuss in this app. If you guys would like to see more about the Enphase Enlightened software, leave me a comment below. Now let's move over to this month's electrical bill. I'm going to keep everything blurred out and kind of do this in segments. So we consumed from the power company 728 kilowatt hours. We sent to them 540 kilowatt hours. And I'll explain that in just a second. And the net was 188 kilowatt hours. So we were billed for 188. My question on my first bill is why is it only showing 540 kilowatt hours received from us when we produced 994.9 kilowatt hours for that same time period? The reason that that happens, we're consuming 0.6 kilowatt hours. And we're exporting 2.1 kilowatt hours. So what's happening here is while we're producing and exporting, this number is not being recorded through our net meter. That's why this number is so different than our total produced number for the month. Simply because it can't read what we're using in real time. It can only read what we either underproduce and we're pulling from the grid or what we've overproduced and we're sending to the grid. In the end, our net consumption was 188 kilowatt hours. Let me touch on net metering real quick. I have a video on this. We send all of our excess production to the utility company where they credit us one watt for every one watt produced, commonly referred as one-to-one -one net metering. In calculating the return on investment, Adding a battery backup system added nearly $12,000 in cost and pushed us out for our return several years. And I didn't feel like that was money well spent in our situation because we have a one-to-one -one net metering. I felt like the best investment that we could put into the solar system at this current time with our budget and how fast we're going to make a return on this was to do a basic solar system with a one-to-one -one net metering because we'll be able to pay back our system system in about three to five years. If we had added those battery backups, it would have been somewhere around seven to 10 years. I have another video on the true cost of our system, and I'll put that up here in the corner if you want to check that out. So now that we discussed that net metering one to one, that's what this meter multiplier is here. There is no multiplier. It's one to one. For every watt produced, we get paid back one watt from the power company. So they are our battery bank. If the power goes out, we just don't have any backup at the house. But I thought it would be best just to have an $800 generator rather than $12,000 worth of batteries. Let's talk about this top section up here. Right here is just a meter number. Then we have the reading dates and then the previous to the present. This is just the readings, the day's build, the meter multiplier, which is the one-to-one -one net metering, then your display registers, all that is, is what they have delivered to us and what we have delivered to them. And then the net. And then we have the kilowatt usage, which is just the numbers of delivered, received in the net. If we move down here, we'll get a breakdown of what our bill actually is. We have the member cost of service, which is $13.99. That will be on every bill. 
Then we have the kilowatt hour charge, and we're charged at 188 kilowatt hours this month, because that's what we consume from the power company, at 9.184 cents per watt, giving us a total of $17.27. Then when the FAC charge on that same usage, 188 kilowatt hours at 1.5422 cents, and that's $2.90. Then we have the environmental charge, which adds our member charge, our kilowatt charge, and the FAC charge at $34.16. And they times it by 9.66%, giving us an additional fee of $3.30. And then where we're located, you'll pay school taxes through your electrical bill. And that was $1.12 this month. So our total charge for this billing statement between July 25th and August 25th is $38.58. So let's talk about this $38.58 a little bit. That's what our bill was, but how much money did we really save? To determine that, come back over here to our Enlightened app, and I'm just going to make this easy because it makes the math a lot easier if I just round this up to a thousand, so it'll be off maybe a couple cents. Let's say that we produced 1,000 kilowatts for this month, if we go back over here, we're being charged at 9.184 cents per kilowatt hour. That gives us a total of $91.84. And then we have to do the FAC charge. So that is 1,000 times 1.5422 cents, which is another $15.42. Add those together and you get 107.26. And then we got to add that environmental charge of 9.66%, bringing that total to $10.36 and giving us a true savings of $117.62 for this billing statement. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I'm going to be putting out my monthly savings every month for at least the next 12 months to give you guys a better idea if you go to install a solar system, how much you can actually save. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed the video, you found something helpful out of it, please smash the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment below. I answer every comment that comes in personally. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that little notification bell so when I do put out new videos, you get notified. I'll catch you in the next project. Come here, you got to get out of the frame, buddy. Come here. Come here.